ladies and gentlemen, so welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is FC Corn Korea, my lord. This is episode number five. It is the season finale of the first season. Uh, let's have a look at the league table quickly. Bayern is still the first with 74 points. Uh, Leipzig second, 70. Denmark, Clan, Burgess, dead. Dortmund is fourth with 66 points. We are fifth with 63 points. Bayer Leverkusen is sixth with 63 points. It's the battle between me and Bayer Leverkusen. Who is going to finish this in the sixth position so far? But it looks like... We might win that battle. We have a massive, massive goal different. So I hope that we win our next few games. Head up in 57 points. I don't know if they will be in the Europa League. I doubt them. Um, we have Wolfsburg who have 56 points as well. How many wins did we manage to get? We got 20 wins after the two games. Only two games left. Um... I really think that uh, we did well. 20 wins. Only 9 losses. For the first season, that's much, much better for me. I think we we overperformed. I was not expecting to be in the Europa League spot anyway. But yeah, I find myself in that spot of which is a very good thing, man. Thank you so much, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for the support in the last episode. It was really amazing, guys. I really appreciate that. I keep getting some new subscribers as well. I'm happy with the new friends, man. Keep coming, guys. Keep them coming. If you know someone, just tell him to have a look and then leave a sub, leave a like, let me know. I will go check your channel if I have to. And leave a like and leave a sub, a sub as well. That's important to me. Loyalty is everything to me, man. Um, so far, I, I, last time I checked, I was having like uh, 1,030 subscribers. Hopefully, hopefully we can grow from that, man. Uh, and see how far we can go with all those things. But yeah, so far, so good. Hopefully the second season of this, because I'm, I'm already planning for the second season, guys. I already signed a player. I signed um, Fraser on free transfer though assign him on free so you will be coming in at the end of the season as well let's go into our first game now i've been talking for so long man it's fc corn against the uh, Freiburg. first chance went to Guerrez in the 10th minutes he managed to finish that brilliant what a shot that was man a very good shot by Guerrez. It was a good break and a good pass as well. Same time finish by Corrales. He is on his way on to, to break the goals, the record for goals. On the 23rd minute, we're coming forward with Conrad. He turns, he passed the ball, finds Eckstein who took a shot, but it was blocked. Then... On the 31st minute, they got a chance, but they missed the target. On the 39th minute, we're coming forward again with Bozart this time. Bozart passed the ball to Connett, who just skied the shot. On the 42nd minute, Correa, see Bozart. Bozart, what a finish that was, man. Roof of the net, a very good goal. Same time finish by Pozat. Pozat is very good, man. He's my little Messi. He's the Argentinian as well. Second half is underway. 52nd minute. They're launching an attack. A cross coming in. Defended, but straight to the opponent. Straight to the opponent again. Then it's a goal. It is 2-1, man. Look at this. Headed it straight to the opponent. Then the goalkeeper made a save. Straight to the opponent again. I don't know what to say. Sometimes if you have to score, you will score. It doesn't matter what you do. In this game, it's like that. If they want them to score, they will score. But on the 59 minute, you're coming forward. As a boy, so good as. 
where they dribbled this man, went through, took a shot, hit the post twice, but it went in. What a good goal that was. This boy is so good, man. As the season progresses, it becomes so, so lethal. Look at that. That was a good goal. Then on the 65th minute, coming forward with Ezebua, he was having a good game today. Good pass. He gave it to Extian. Extian, good finish. Near post. Trap. I think Trap had a touch on that ball. But that touch was not good enough. It ended up in the back of the net. It is 4 1. I like this kit, man. It is so clean. On the 73rd minutes, they're coming forward again. Silva, good finish. Horn should have done better, though. I believe Horn was supposed to do better there. It takes long, man. This thing, sometimes it's upsetting all angles. On the 18th, that minutes, they're coming forward again. Silva took a shot. Good save, Horn, this time. God, I don't know what is going on, man. Silva again on the 86th minute. Oh my god. I think I'm having a problem with defending though. I consider a whole lot of goals, man. A whole lot of goals. Then we have to make some changes. Kerk will come out. Cordoba come in. Schwab, nope. Uh, Fernando will come out. Yep. Three changes at the same time. Cordoba, Cordoba hasn't been playing this season, but simply because Cordoba is, is, is on top of his game, man. I thought that Cordoba was going to be a striker and Cordoba was going to be a sub, but then it works the other way around. On the last minutes of the game, again, we launch an attack. The ball is with Cordoba. Good pass by Cordoba. He find Extian. Extian. Oh God, I should have dribbled that guy. I don't know what I was doing. It was easy to dribble him, really. Then they come back forward. Cordoba. Cordoba with a chance. Cordoba tries a shot, man. He was desperate to score, but it didn't happen, man. It didn't happen. That is that. The referee blows his whistle. It's the end of the game. Uh, it's a good performance, but I, I wouldn't say a good defending from my side, man. I, I should have done better. I think 4-1 was a deserved score. Getting all these goals and stuff, all these goals that we're considering, it's really terrible. It's terrible for my image as a coach. But we move on to the second game of the episode, the last game of the season. Who are we facing? It's Werder Bremen and we're going to Werder Bremen, man. Last game of the season, we are away. Not of the episode, of the season, what I was saying. On the 17 minutes, they come forward with Abia Gomez, gave it to Bernardo, Bernardo with a shot, good save, Horn. Again on the forty first minute, they're coming forward again, man. With our own player. We sold that player to them. Now it's with Rashika. Rashika took a shot, man. It's a goal. Festrete is playing for them. Oh, it was a swipe deal with Extian. Again, they're coming forward on the 48 minutes, a pass inside, no goalkeeper. I don't know why he even loop it, but he was just doing that to annoy us, man. How do you loop the ball when there's no keeper, dude? Ah, you stupid, ready. On the 82nd minutes, we got a break. He's through, Connet. Connet is through. Can Connet score? Yes, he can score, but it was a little bit too late for us, man. It was a good break. A very good break, man. 
The referee ends the game like that. It is 2-1. We lost the game where the Bremen managed to get a W. We got some money there. Good money as well from the Bundesliga. Now we're going to the final against Dortmund. The last game of season one, man. And the last game of this episode as well. Can we beat Dortmund? Watch and see. On the 12th minute, we got a chance. Fernando passed the ball out wide. He finds Bozard. The Argentinian Messi, the little Messi, the second crossed the board and Axtian, what a finish that was by Axtian. That guy is very good, man. Bozard, I like Bozard, man. Yes, I signed Fraser, but I don't think that Fraser will be playing as the starter. Bozart is too good, man. What a finish by him. Same time finish. Zagato was waiting for the header there. Look at him. It was a little bit too late. It's, it's a kanji. I think it's a kanji. It's not Zagato. On the 28th minute, we're coming forward. Fernando. He finds Guedes, Roger Guedes, he scored, man, the Brazilian, good goal again, inside of the post and went in. It is 2-0, this is amazing, man. At this time, I was uh, so excited, but on the 29 minutes, we're coming back forward, Buzard, he finds Guedes, the Brazilian was offside this time and he was upset about that. But he was not offside, honestly speaking. But that doesn't matter anymore. Dortmund tried to launch an attack. They haven't attacked yet. We got another chance on the 32nd minute. Guedes, he was not going to be denied by offside this time, but he was denied by the goalkeeper. Bazaar, with the throw, gave it to Fernando. Fernando saw Extian, Extian turns, Extian, Extian took a finesse shot, good save by Buki again. We managed to keep him quiet, man, Sancho, he hasn't done anything, anything, not, not, not shot on target, no shot even off target, man. We keep Sancho quiet, you keep Dortmund quiet. On the 41st minute, we got a chance there, Extian, with the, sec with the second goal, man, and his second goal. In this game, that was the third goal for us, not the second goal. A cross coming in, good defending there, but I don't know what was happening there. Dortmund coming forward on the 64th minute, Stiedler, he always scored, man. He always scored against me. I don't know why he hates me, this guy. On the 73rd minutes, they coming forward, Hakim, I think he was offside, but then the referee said no. He passed it back, he finds Emre Can. Emre Can gave it to Wixel, who took a shot, he scored on the 74th minute, it is 3-2, man, we need to hold on now. We're ready, this thing is happening all the time. We score goals in the first half, then we consider a whole lot of goals in the second half. That has been my game, really. I consider a whole lot of goals in the second half, but we managed to hold on and win the cup, man. So since we won this cup, I'm so excited because at least we end the season with something. It's the first season. I was not expecting anything like this, but then the boys managed to get it done. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. You can just enjoy the highlights, the celebrations and everything, boys. This is your time now. Probably you'll never see that thing again. But the aim is to win the league first before I can move on from this team. I don't know if it's possible, man. Because uh, in recent career modes, it's been easy to win the Europa League or the Champions League than to win your own league. Yeah, Captain is gonna. Yes, Captain. That's what I want to see, man. That's what I want to see. 
the captain is raising it up in the sky, man, for the fans to see. It is the cup glory for us. It is all smiles, man. Red and white ribbons in the sky. FC Cole managed to win something in the first season. That's a very good thing, man. I managed to win a cup in the first season. Hey, improved. You see, I won the cup, man. Improved gaming. I won the cup. The league is coming. Don't worry. I will defeat Dortmund and Bayern Munich. In the, in the season that I will win the cup, I will win the Bundesliga. I really need Bundesliga. Let's have a look at the final league standing. We, we finished on the um, sixth position, man. Um, Leverkusen is on the fifth. They managed to skip past us. Then Hertha Berlin is on the seventh. I don't know if Hertha is going to go to Europa League. Maybe they're going to go to qualifications of the Europa League. I'm not sure. Bayern Munich won the league with 80 points, man. Uh, deservingly so, because they only lost four games in the season. They won 25. We were not far off them. Oh, God, we lost 10 games. What am I saying? It's embarrassing. 10 games. Thinking that head of Berlin at some point, they were number three in the league for like the majority of the first half of the league. But they ended up finishing below us. Oh, God. It's a good achievement. Which means in the second half of the league, we managed to do well. We managed to collect some more points. Uh, hopefully, that form can continue to the next season. Because we are going to season two. Uh, we're going to make some few signings just to strengthen the squad. Uh, I think that I need a defender. Mere is not my kind of, def of a defender. Uh, Mid-table, it's where the Bremen, Frankfurt, Hoffenheim, Schalke, uh, Freiburg, Dusseldorf, Mainz managed to survive relegation. OMG. Look at how tight it is there. Berlin was relegated with 22 points. But look at the teams above them. There's 23 and 224. Then there's a gap between them. Schalke finished 12. God. Is Schalke that dead? Then Paderborn was relegated with only six points and they only got six draws in the league. They don't have a win at all. Then Augsburg as well with 21 points. They were relegated. They're going to play off Union Berlin. I don't know what's going to happen there, but Union Berlin, they've been a thorn, man. They've been like a, a pain to me. So even if they go, I don't care, man. They really, like, hurt me a lot, to be honest. They gave me hard times. So, that will be that, guys. Uh, let's look at the leading goal scorers and see who is there. We have Goyards, man, with 37 goals. He didn't reach 39 goals that was projected for him, but 37 goals is good enough. Then we have Cornet as well with 18 goals. We were scoring goals a whole lot, man. A lot of goals that we scored other than that thank you so much guys please don't forget to subscribe man and like if you like the content bye <laughs>